This is the Oppo Find N. Oppo's first entry in the foldables market already offers a mature and premium design, a top-of-the-line spec sheet, and some really novel solutions to the problems many people have had with foldables. Is this already the best foldable smartphone ever made? Before I answer that question, make sure you hit that like button and do subscribe to our channel to see more cool tech like this. The Oppo Find N takes a very interesting approach for a horizontally folding phone. While most other horizontal foldables like the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3 choose to have a really tall front screen, the cover screen here is a 5.49 inch display with an 18 by 9 aspect ratio. It transforms on-demand into a very capable tablet, which is the main draw of a phone like this. And this display has done something seemingly impossible, which we'll get to in a bit. But crucially, it's the cover screen here that makes this phone stand out. Unlike the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 3, where the front screen is too tall and not wide enough and only really good to use in a pinch, the Oppo Find N's cover screen would make for a great display even if it was the only one here. The screen does have a max 60Hz refresh rate, yes, but it's about the size of an iPhone mini and great to type on, browse through Instagram or do any other normal smartphone tasks. And believe me, although the Find N when folded is about two smartphones thick, it fits really well in the hand for a great one-handed usage experience. When you do want the extra screen real estate, the Find N unfolds to a glorious 7.1-inch internal display with a buttery smooth 120Hz refresh rate. Oppo's seemingly impossible trick here is that there's no visible crease in the middle. The ultra-thin glass display here is from Samsung, but the Flexion hinge is all Oppo. The hinge has 136 individual parts and bends so precisely that from the front, you really can't see any sort of crease. Even if you slide your finger across the display, it's mostly imperceptible. It really almost feels like one uninterrupted display, which is a major win for Oppo. Unfortunately, it lacks an official IP rating of any sort, but Oppo does tell us that it should be able to withstand some moisture and light drizzles without an issue. The aspect ratio here is a bit more landscape than portrait, but it's especially good for things like watching videos or reading a book or browsing maps or looking through photos. Any application which does well with extra space on the screen really shines here. Videos are mostly letterboxed with this aspect ratio, but the extra size is still really nice. Reading long articles or books is really where this display is most useful. I prefer turning it to the side to get a portrait aspect ratio when doing this and the experience is so much better than any slap phone could ever hope to provide. This also applies to general web browsing where you get a full tabbed view in Google Chrome and most websites can work properly in desktop mode. Of course, a large display like this is also useful for multitasking. Oppo has put in some special features for this in ColorOS. You can use most apps side by side in the split view mode and both will remain active. You can also save any frequently used split screen pair of apps right to the home screen. Unfortunately, there's no way to do a vertical split screen here which would have been nice for things like YouTube. Most apps can also be used in floating window mode where you can adjust the size, dock them when not needed and convert them to a split screen whenever you want. You can have a split screen with a pair of apps and one floating window open at the same time. The base variant of the Oppo Find N gets 8GB of RAM and the higher end one gets 12GB RAM, meaning that there's enough memory here for all your multitasking needs. Both also benefit from the RAM expansion feature. The base model also has 256GB storage and the top end one has 512GB storage, which I love. There's no such thing as too much storage. Not everything is roses here. Some apps don't yet play well with foldables and don't have a layout specially designed with them in mind. You can choose to launch these in 16x9 or 4x3 modes with letterboxing in case they play better with that. Or you can also choose to launch them in full screen mode and hope the layout works anyway. A little bit of trial and error is still required here, but over time, as more developers update their apps to work with foldables, this should become less of an issue. Gaming is difficult on a foldable and that's not really anyone's fault. The more squarish viewport of the display doesn't lend itself well to the wide field of view most games require. A good compromise I found was to launch games in 16x9 mode and use the little buttons Oppo gives you to move them to the bottom of the display. You get a blank top half of the screen, which seems like a waste, 
but I didn't find this to hamper my Call of Duty mobile skills. And the general display area is still about as large, if not larger, than a big flagship smartphone. Performance is not an issue here of course, because this has a Snapdragon 888 inside and performs just as well as any 2021 flagship. For 2D casual games which don't suffer from the same display issues, the internal screen works really well for a tablet-like experience. The Oppo Find N gets a 50 megapixel main camera, a 16 megapixel ultra wide, and a 13 megapixel telephoto lens. The camera bump rises from the back in a design much like the Find X3, although it's not as seamless as that phone. The cameras themselves are not the best you'll find on any smartphone, but they still perform really well. You can get really good shots with both the main and wide cameras with decent lighting, and while the telephoto does get a little washed out, it can also get good results. Both the cover screen and the inner display get a 32 megapixel selfie camera, which also does decently well. Oppo does some neat tricks with the foldable form factor here. Unfolded, you can use the camera app on the full screen or push it to one side to make way for a live preview pane which shows the last picture you took. You can also push a button to give a preview of the shot on the cover display in case you have picky subjects. Or indeed, you can choose to push the entire camera app onto the cover when unfolded, making it really easy to vlog or take portraits with the rare cameras. The foldable form factor also means that you can prop up the device really easily for a time-lapse or a group photo or for video calls. The audio experience on the Oppo Find N is a little mixed. The phone has two bottom-firing stereo speakers on either side when unfolded. Now, these are great speakers with excellent loudness and good clarity and bass, but both of them being bottom firing means that you do hear a stereo mix, but all the audio is still coming from one direction, and you don't really get a surround sound experience. When folded, the speakers line up exactly perfectly next to each other, cancelling out that stereo effect and basically making them one big bottom firing speaker. The Oppo Find N gets a 4500 mAh battery. Now, battery life on a foldable is weird to pin down because it depends entirely on how much time you use either screen and can vary quite wildly. I wasn't able to conduct extensive testing, but in my usage, the battery life is quite good overall. The bundled charger also gives you 33 watt fast charging. There are some tiny things I really appreciate about the Find N. When you close the inner display, you get this little prompt on the cover screen, which you can swipe up to continue using whatever app was open on the inside. If you do nothing, the screen will shut off in about 3 seconds. Very neat. The little thud you hear when closing the display is also extremely satisfying. Oppo has included a lot of live wallpapers on this phone that move as you fold and unfold the device, which makes the experience all that more delightful. And this phone has really, really good haptics. Vibrations are very fine and feel great for that extra premium touch. To sum it up, having an Oppo Find N is like carrying a great compact smartphone and a very nice mini tablet in one device that fits in your pocket. Which you might say is the point of a horizontally folding smartphone, but I think this one is the first to get that mix exactly right. There are a few areas which can be improved, sure, but given that this is Oppo's first attempt at a foldable, it's incredible how well they've done. For now, the Oppo Find N is China only. We don't know when or if the Oppo Find N will launch in India, but I really, really hope it does, because it's about time we get a serious competitor to Samsung's Galaxy Z Fold series.